What is up guys? Not Ian Sands here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. You've been asking for this video for a while, so today we're finally gonna dive in and check out my favorite and most used plugins. But before we get into that, I wanna give a quick shout out to my buddy Maka, who started a clothing brand called File Project. Basically, it's a line of clothing centered around designers and creatives. He sent me this shirt, says designer on it, got the little file logo, a little DE here, designer, looks like a Photoshop logo. Sent me this sick hat, it's called the Thinking Cap, got a little uh, mouse pointer on it. Sent me this shirt too, little Chanel creative thing. So go check out filebrand.com, go check out the offerings that they have over there. A lot of really cool stuff. And if you're into video editing, graphic design, creative work in general, this clothing line is for you. All right, diving into the good stuff now. First up is Post Haste by Digital Rebellion, probably my most used piece of software ever. You guys may have seen my previous video on this before, but it's basically the best software to optimize your organization before you even start a video project. You name your files, you click save, and then it generates a folder hierarchy of everything that you will possibly need in your project. You can set custom folder so it just creates itself automatically. It will even save and store your Premiere project for you. You don't have to do any additional work and everything is just there and categorized and organized ready for you to jump in and stay organized throughout the duration of a project. This is a free software, okay? Digital Rebellion, post haste, download it, use it, Love it, stay organized. All right, next up on the list is Seer. And Seer is basically a file preview system for Windows, very similar to Mac Finder, where you hit spacebar and you're able to preview all different files, but Seer is significantly more powerful. You're able to preview Photoshop documents, regular images, MXF files, which is crazy. MXF files are the ones that come off of like a Sony FS7 or a more pro camera. And you're able to preview those without having to open them in Premiere or QuickTime or VLC. And it just saves a tremendous amount of time. You can preview audio files, Files, you can preview pretty much anything. This one was a game changer for me guys and it's not that expensive. It's only $12.18, kind of a random number, but if you go to 1218.io, you can download a free three-day trial and then it's $12.18 after the three-day trial. I highly recommend it, it's awesome. Moving on to number three, which is Divi. And if you've never heard of Divi before, this one's super cool. Uh, it's available for Mac and Windows, but basically what Divi allows you to do is resize your windows by clicking and dragging over a little grid so you can resize different programs and different windows to various parts of your screen without having to manually do it, which saves a tremendous amount of time. You can also have custom presets saved on your keyboard by just hitting a series of keyboard shortcuts, which allows you to just throw windows in various parts of the screen. And I like to use this on my main monitor and my second monitor whenever I'm working. And it's just a much faster process than clicking and dragging to resize windows. This one's huge. The price on that one is $13.99. Not that expensive for what you're getting, because if you like the equation, time is money, think of how much time you're saving by spending 14 bucks or whatever. So that one's totally worth it for me. And those are kind of my three main ones that I use before I even jump into any sort of Premiere project. But now let's talk about video plugins, shall we? All right, we're gonna kick it off with my most used video plugin, which is Red Giant Universe. It is $99 a year, so it is a yearly subscription, but you get so much stuff in the Red Giant Universe pack. I'm not gonna go over everything today because this video would be like three hours long, but you get a lot of amazing style and digital effects included in Red Giant Universe. A couple of my favorites are Chromatic Aberration, Edge Glow, Carousel, which is like a cool noir kind of filter, VHS, Camera Shake plugins, which are all amazing, and a lot of my motion design stuff using the HUD components. Now, everything inside of Red Giant Universe has a bunch of presets that you can preview right from the plugin, which is pretty cool. And everything is completely 100% customizable down to like the lens texture, to the blurs, to everything that you're doing. You can keyframe it and you can customize pretty much everything in the pack. It is extremely powerful. It is extremely useful. And for only a hundred bucks a year, which breaks down to like 10 bucks a month, absolutely 100% worth the money for how much stuff you're getting out of it. There is something for everyone in there and it's all super pro, super clean looking effects. Effects, I recommend it 100%. All right, next on the list is Neat Video Noise Reduction. I cannot tell you how many times this plugin has saved my life and the footage that I'm working on due to low light scenarios or a lot of grain in the darks and the shadows of the footage. This plugin is God tier, seriously. 
seriously. All right, here's a shot of Ole and Doublelift in an alley in a low light scenario. You can see a lot of noise in the blacks, especially in his jacket and in his pants, but then you drop neat video on it and it reduces the level of noise in the blacks and the shadows significantly. Here's a side by side comparison of the two split down the middle. On the right is neat video, on the left is the original footage. You can really see how much this plugin is working. The neat video plugin is $74.90, so almost $75. Again, a weird number for this plugin, but absolutely 100% worth it. All the plugins that I'm talking about today, to me, are worth it. Yes, if you added them all up, it'd be a little bit expensive, but they're all worth it if you're serious about doing great work. If you are gonna get neat video though, I suggest going into the preferences panel of the plugin and optimizing your system to utilize as many cores as possible. It will read and register what your system is running, and it will give you a recommendation based on what it thinks is the best. Now, I would do this because if you're working on a laptop versus a desktop, it will kind of optimize the plugin for you and give you the best results because it is a pretty render intensive plugin, but the results speak for themselves. Next up on the list is filmimpact.net transition packs. All of these transitions and effects from Film Impact work really well. They're all really clean and they're optimized for Premiere. I would go to the website, check them out. You can download the free demo of all the different transition packs, but a little pro tip for you, inside of transition pack one, there are four different versions of the transitions that aren't watermarked, so you can actually use them without having to pay for the plugin. And those are blur to color, flash, push, and roll. I personally use flash and push all the time. Super simple to just drop on there and create a really unique and awesome transition. You don't have to do a lot of work. It automatically adds the blur in there for you. So go and download the demo version of Transition Pack 1, and then you can use those four plugins and kind of get away with it for free. But if you're gonna buy them, which I, again, would recommend that you do, they kind of vary in price from like $70 to $100 per transition pack. So if you were gonna buy all five or six or whatever you have on there, you may be looking at like $500 for everything, which is insanely expensive. but if you don't want to waste a bunch of time making transitions or figuring out how to do things and it's just kind of drag and drop, filmimpact.net transition pack and bounce packs are all really good examples of things that you can do to save a lot of time. And last but not least is Video Copilot Element 3D. Well, basically anything from Video Copilot is amazing, but Element 3D specifically, I use this plugin all the time on text and logos to give it a little bit of texture, a little bit more dynamics, and taking something simple like text or a logo and making it look infinitely better, a little bit more production value without having to do anything crazy, but you can really get in depth with this plugin and do some insane, insane stuff. If you haven't heard of Element 3D or Video Copilot, I recommend going and checking out the website videocopilot.net. Andrew Kramer, the god, this is his company, his vision, his plugins, all amazing stuff. So definitely go and check out videocopilot.net if you're interested in this stuff. Element 3D guys, a little expensive, $199. I understand that that's kind of sticker shock for most people, but if you really care about video editing or doing anything in the video creative field, Spending money to save time is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. So save up your lunch money, guys. If you got a birthday or a holiday coming up, ask for plugins. You know, why not? So all of the plugins that we looked at today are my most used and my favorite plugins that I use on a daily or semi-daily basis. To me, this is just my opinion. You want to be able to save as much time as possible when you're editing. So you just optimize everything from start to finish, from before you even open up Premiere to once you're working in Premiere and then once you're exporting, you're gonna wanna save as much time as possible. And unfortunately, you have to spend a little bit of money to save a lot of time. And to me, it's worth it. So guys, whether you're taking my recommendation or not on these plugins, I urge you to go check out the websites and the developers for all of them. Links are in the video description below. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm glad I finally got to tell you guys what all my favorite plugins are. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, still welcome. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I'll see you next time.